President and CEO of uh, North Star MLS. I've been uh, doing this job for 10 out of the 25 years that uh, North Star MLS has been in business. I had the uh, great privilege and good luck to have succeeded uh, Brian Larson, who uh, cared for this business for, uh, for nine years prior to me coming on board. We're grateful to have Brian here with us. the uh, uh, leaders of the uh, uh, associations that are here today, i got to remind them that uh, Brian, when he was passing the torch to me um, 10 years ago, said, I have one great gift that you have no idea how valuable this is that I pass on to you. And wanting to learn as much as I could about this new challenge, what is that, Brian? And he said, you have nothing to do with lockboxes. <laughs> And, and I've subsequently learned that that is absolutely the case. Thank you, Brian, again. Thank you so much. We have a couple of very special guests, uh, and uh, uh, one of whom it's my great uh, privilege to introduce is my former boss before I came to this, uh, uh, this line of work. Many of you know that I spent most of my, uh, I was going to say adult life, but my wife is here. <laughs> working on the vendor side of the industry and uh, uh, in fact uh, I work for the company that sold the MLS technology to uh, the regional multiple listing service 25 years ago and my boss from that time is here with his lovely wife Sheila and uh, I'd like to introduce Scott Mitchell. <laughs> great business leaders I've had the privilege to learn from in, in my life. So thanks, Scott, for taking the time to be with us today. You, uh, you'll notice as well in these pictures these uh, historical artifacts that we found at the Mill City Ruins. <laughs> <laughs> that uh, Jim Miller hasn't changed a bit <laughs> in 25 years. And uh, Scott noted, uh, uh, to Jim's great surprise, that he's wearing the same suit today as he did. <laughs> Or in that picture. Chris Hansen's here somewhere, and there is uh, another uh, of the uh, uh, signatories of that agreement that changed real estate here in the, uh, in the Twin Cities. Uh, certainly so much more for the better 25 years ago that it's been a challenge for both Brian and I to find a different way to, uh, uh, to help improve your working lives, but I don't think there's anything been more significant than uh, eliminating the need for people to belong to two MLSs to operate in one metropolitan area. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, it's my, my privilege to introduce to you our chairman, our chairman emeritus, because he keeps doing it over and over and over <laughs> and over. But Henry Brandis uh, has a few words he'd like to say. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, I am, as John said, the current uh, chair of the RMLS Board of Governors. On behalf of the governors, I want to welcome each and every one of you here. Uh, John has been with us for 10 years, and uh, this afternoon had a chance to look at the bylaws. It turns out that 10 years is the maximum time. <laughs> so, uh, John, it's been good to know you. Good luck. Uh, 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 I sincerely want to thank everyone here because everyone here made a contribution over the last 25 years to the success of RMLS. And I hope you know that RMLS is one of the most respected MLSs in the country for being a leader, for being innovative, for being at, at the cutting edge. And all of you made a contribution to that, along with obviously the staff and so forth. So you're all a big part of, of this. I'd like to uh, just pay special recognition to those people who may be here, who were here in the beginning. Because prior to the regional multiple listing service launching in 1987, in the Twin Cities area, there were four different MLSs, four different operating systems, in many cases different lockboxes. And while at that time it was obvious that we should have one regional MLS, because it was obvious doesn't mean it was easy. And people came together with real vision and real perseverance to create this 
this system that we have now. So we want to, every one of us here owes a great debt of gratitude to those who were there at the beginning. And um, <laughs> unfortunately, many couldn't be with us tonight because they're old. <laughs> But uh, I also want to just acknowledge and then help me acknowledge the great work done by John Mosey and the entire RMLS staff. Uh, these people are dedicated, they work hard every single day, and the good news is that you don't see most of their work because there are no problems. And if, if any of you remember ever going through an MLS conversion, we don't do that. We, have, we do not do conversions because of the redundancy of our system. So. Thank you for the work that the staff does day in and day out to allow all of us to do our jobs much better, much more efficiently. And with that, I'm going to let you get back to enjoying your evening. Thank you very much.